Yes, the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr. President. My question without notice is to the Minister for Ageing, Minister for Disability Services and Minister for Multiculturalism. Minister, what is your response to your government's own report that found 57 per cent of people with disabilities were unaware the NDIS had begun and 62 per cent had no idea how to access those services in New South Wales? And what steps are you taking to address this? Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, I thank the Honourable Member for the question. It's a very good question. Mr. President, as the Honourable Member knows, the NDIS is being rolled out across one half of the state on 1 July 2016 onwards, and the other one half of the state, the rollout commences on 1 July 2017. Mr. President, the focus has been in relation to the first rollout. That's where the communication is occurring. That is where the work is being undertaken, with further communication to follow in regards to the other one half states. <coughs> also, Mr President, as the honourable member would know, the Commonwealth, the NDIA, were undertaking an information um, strategy in relation to this. And as the honourable member knows, the Commonwealth has determined not to uh, commence their advertising of the NDIA. As a result of that, Mr. President, my agency will be commencing an advertising program in relation to the NDIA, an advertising information program, uh, Mr. President, to ensure that further information is provided. In addition to that, my agency, ADIC, has been working very closely in their local areas to provide the necessary information. Mr President, what is important is that numerous seminars have occurred, numerous information sessions have occurred right across the state with our service providers who are continually being updated with the information. Also, Mr President, the Secretary of the Agency has also been writing to clients, to their families, to their carers, to also continue to provide them with the necessary information. This government is committed to ensuring that the right information at the right time is provided to people with disability, their families and their carers. That's what we're doing. That's what we'll continue to do. It's why, Mr President, the Commonwealth Government accepts, all of the other states and territories accept, that New South Wales is leading the way in the transition of clients to the NDIS. The Leader of the Opposition on a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. I asked the Minister to elucidate on that part of his answer with respect to how much money your government is spending on its advertising campaign. Mr. President, the amount of money being expended by my agency in relation to the advertising campaign, the advertising information campaign, is the right amount of money that is needed. We will spend the amount that is required. We will ensure that the appropriate value is being utilised. Yes, Mr. President. That amount of money that has been budgeted for has been approved and will be utilised. Something they didn't understand. It will not be preparing glossy brochures like those officers continue to do. They won't be about whenever they commence an information campaign. It was all about the photo and the words of the then minister from the other side. And who will ever forget Carl Scully's information campaign building up Carl Scully? This will be an information campaign that is solely based on the fact of providing the right information at the right time to people with disability, their families, their carers, the service provider. The right amount will be provided.